But the next week is full of tales, as I like to call them, stocks that might give you valuable insight into what's really happening out there so you can manage your own portfolio better. Right now, we're all pretty much sure that the consumers moved on from goods to services in this post-pandemic world. Makes sense. Remember, we are all long on money and short on time. Please don't forget that. That's been my wrap on the post-COVID economy for a while now. But there's no better test of that thesis than we hear from Carnival. Yes, this company was once considered COVID ground zero. Remember, you used to call it the Petri dish? But now it's thought of it like it was, it was like before the pandemic as a fun, inexpensive vacation, especially if you can hold your liquor. We need to pay close attention to when the company talks about future bookings on the call to gauge how much longer this travel and entertainment boom can continue. That will be crucial. Now, Tuesday... Oh, this is a tough one. Walgreens Boots Alliance. This stock has been horrible. Today, I saw some research that said this Dow component is so hated that it, with its 6% yield, it could actually bounce, even reported just an in-line number. I agree, but I believe Wall Street, yeah, Walgreens has a problem with what's known as shrink. That's a great euphemism for mysteriously vanishing inventory, usually due to pilferage. That problem is getting worse, not better, especially because they now have to lock everything up and force you to wait for a struggling worker to come over and open up the plexiglass. And by the way, it's not the best shopping experience. Look at Amazon Prime Day. It could be a vicious hit for their sales. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.